Now, I made a video the other day about this lady from NASA talking about they can see a galaxy or star 28 billion light years away. This is fantastical and impossible. It boils down to gravity, okay? They're saying that the curvature of space-time combines or forms into a telescope, a naturally occurring telescope, five billion light years away, that lets us see another 23 billion light years away. Okay, the, the first and foremost problem with this is what is logical and what is not logical. Now, all the wonderful things they tell us that gravity does, what it did, what it'll do, forming planets, assembling stars after the Big Bang, holding us, all oceans and lakes, to the outside surface of a giant ball, these are godlike powers. Okay, it's illogical for them to say. However, if we are to be honest, we don't know what gravity is itself in any fundamental way. Now, if you have an IQ over 99, you cannot excuse that. If you have an IQ below 99, you must excuse it because you cannot comprehend how illogical that is. Now, if gravity is a force or a power or the curvature of space-time, either Einsteinian or Newtonian, whatever the force or power of gravity was, it would have to make direct contact with the matter or objects it wants to pull down or curve down. And they have never directly detected gravity itself doing that. Gravity would have to interact, engage, or engulf that taxi cab to keep it on the outside surface of a giant spinning ball. Well, it's redundant and ridiculous to believe that. Why do you continue to believe this nonsense? It is... I can't comprehend how people do that. What's up? Anyway, the only thing I can figure out is you have no choice. You have no choice because you have no character. You have no character to question or stand up for what you believe or what you want to ask. If we truly were standing, living and building on the outside surface of a giant spinning ball, there would absolutely require a force or power to keep us on it. And that force or power would have to interact directly with us to pull us down or curve us down and they cannot directly detect any force or power interacting or in or engaging with anything something falling down is a fact but there is no device or instrument that can directly detect anything making that happen engaging or interacting with it physically to pull or push it pull it down <clears throat> that is illogical gravity if real would be the most tangible and verifiable demonstrable detectable force or power on the earth you see in the space movies when they're all floating around in the spaceship and they click a button or pull a lever and then the anti-gravity comes on and then they're not floating no more. 
what they are depicting is harnessing gravity. Okay, we haven't done that. First, you have to directly detect it. Identify, isolate, and once you isolate, you study, then you harness. There has to be presence in substance to harness, to study, to detect and identify. Now, how is it that we can directly detect electricity and magnetism per current and per field? Okay, how does gravity keep all the gas and oxygen on the outside of the Earth? When you see the Earth in one of their animations from outer space, you see a big blue ball covered in water with clouds floating around on the outside surface. But what, what evades you is that that is all supposed to be going on within, surrounded by, and directly next to, an infinite and expanding vacuum universe. Billions of light years across. 36 billion light years. So that would be, in all logical manner of thinking, an infinite area okay and uh, an expanding vacuum would expand in all directions right into the earth and the earth would be orbiting right into an infinite vacuum with its circuit around the sun not only going around the sun but chasing after a sun allegedly moving through the galactic center of the milky way at over a half a million miles every hour. So there's no way the Earth could avoid direct contact with an infinite and expanding vacuum. That is illogical. There would be no gas and oxygen on the Earth if the Earth were anywhere near in proximity of an infinite and expanding vacuum. And everything rests on gravity. The magic get out of jail card. Don't pass go, whatever you want to say. Any hard question, the answer is always gravity. Okay? Gravity is your God. Newton, its prophet. And NASA, its disciples. I'm here to tell you there's no such thing as gravity itself. They even tell you, Google, what don't we know about gravity? And they will change that soon. But at present, however, if we are to be honest, we don't know what gravity is itself in any fundamental way. And that's because they cannot directly detect it, identify it, isolate it, or harness. Gravity is one big lie. The Earth is not moving. Do you see that car? That car is moving. But the Earth it drives on is not moving. We have five senses that's, that help preserve our life for fight or flight. And these senses are what keep you alive. And your senses will tell you that the earth is not moving. You can see some chemtrails up there floating by at 10 and 15, 20 miles an hour. And then high, at a higher altitude, you can see it doing the same thing in the opposite direction. Now, how could that be the case if the, the ground underneath it is spinning faster than a bullet at the equator? 1,038 miles an hour. That's impossible. And it's not all relative. Gravity is fake. There is no force or occurrence, power at all, holding, pulling, or curving that van, that pickup, to the ground. Everything is level. Gravity is fake. They lie to you because they don't want you to consider, even for a moment, a creator that made the Earth. Everything has to be infinite. There has to be millions of planets. They have to teach evolution, even though out of three million species of life on the Earth, we, human beings, are the only ones who are aware of our own Im uh, immortality no other life form on this earth can realize it will die 
or comb its hair or think it's good looking or make a vanilla milkshake. We are the only ones that can do that. And there is a reason. We are superior. And everything you see here, the homes, the street, the cars, they had to be made. They could not evolve. Nothing will ever evolve from that organism, that life form of a tree. You will never see a wooden sculpture hanging off a limb or branch. Everything had to be made by a superior being or that car, those homes, the street, those chemtrails. None of it could exist because you need a process and a plan and no plan or process can exist without the ability of thought evolution could not be a process if evolution were true it would apply to every life form on the earth and that is why when you watch star wars or star trek they show all these different aliens having evolved from a rat a frog an octopus uh, some type of marine life because they know that's what evolution would do if it had any relevance. So that's the way they depict it, to put that subliminally in your mind. To validate the lies they teach because they want you to believe that they are atheist. That everything came from nowhere, but everything they do contradicts them being atheists because they pay homage to Apollo, Orion, Artemis, Jupiter, Mars, Saturn, Neptune. Everything is named in every program and mission after a false pagan god. And that's who they worship. Like I said, gravity is their god. Newton its prophet and NASA are the disciples of these liars who use CGI animation, artist renderings and conceptions and, and crisis actors at NASA at clapping their hands and doing all this crazy garbage while you sit there baffled and in awe to a CGI animation of a rocket going into outer space that never goes straight up, just back up and down. There's a firmament up there. We cannot have gas and oxygen stay in one place unless it's contained. Don't you understand the only way gas and oxygen could resist a vacuum is if it's contained? Once you remove that container, the gas and oxygen go immediately into that vacuum. Okay? Nothing else can be demonstrated. So the reason why the gas and oxygen stay on the earth it's because it's contained, and the Bible tells us it's a firmament, okay? And the earth has a foundation. It has pillars. Just like every engineer and carpenter knows that any home, all these homes have to be built on a level foundation that is stationary. These facts do not change no matter how large the job becomes. And God is the master engineer. And the earth is stationary and firm and immovable, as it says 15 times in the Bible, three times in Psalms alone. They cannot demonstrate pressure without a container. Okay? But then they turn around and say that the gas and oxygen of the earth is not contained. It's just pulled back down to the earth by this imaginary force called gravity. But we can see it blowing up, down, left, right, diagonally at sea level on the ground where they say gravity is stronger. So if gas and oxygen move in all directions on the ground where they say gravity is stronger, what would it do at altitude way up in the sky where they say gravity is weaker? It would do the same thing and move and disperse in all directions. And what would happen if there was a vacuum anywhere in vicinity or proximity to gas doing what it does before our eyes at sea level where they say gravity is stronger? They tell us gravity weakens with altitude. So the higher you go, gravity weakens. Gas and oxygen would do the same thing. And if there were an infinite and expanding vacuum universe, billions of light years across, one light year, six trillion miles, we'd have no gas and oxygen on the earth. These are the realities of 
the paradigm. It's not a paradigm because reality, a paradigm cannot be demonstrated. Okay, a paradigm is a belief and it's changing and that's why if you go to YouTube and type in Flat Earth, you'll get a thousand and one anti-Flat Earth videos. And there's a reason for that. Oh, it's so dumb and stupid. Why are you making a thousand and one videos against it then? If something's stupid, it'll testify and convict itself. Yet you have to dedicate your entire channel to fighting the flat earth. The flat earth is a phenomenon and millions are in this gang. This gang is reality and too many people know the truth for you ever to rebound. The globe needs you. You need to rush to your nearest globe recruitment center and enlist because the globe is under attack and that's why they have to keep uploading videos so that people don't mutiny. There's a mutiny going on. People are leaving the endless theory, the artist renderings and conceptions, and going over to demonstrable reality. And yes, it sounds crazy, but that's what they taught us to think. That walking and driving on a flat surface is ridiculous. But walking around on the outside surface of a giant ball is okay because of the godlike force of gravity that we've never directly detected and we don't know what it is itself in any fundamental way. Google, what don't we know about gravity? Wake up, people. The Lord is coming. Read Matthew chapter 24. It's not a joke. Read it and compare it to the little bit of truth they tell you at 6 and 6.30. It's all distraction and fear porn. We are governed by fear porn. Okay? Asteroids, aliens, nuclear weapons, boogeymen in Russia and China. And all this other nonsense. Event 201 being one of the worst ones. Propaganda. Wake up, people. And praise the Lord.